hello my seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel it is always a blessing to have you back here today's reading is for Aries Aries welcome back to the channel please know that if the reading does not resonate though please don't get hurt or in your feelings it only means that this reading is not for you today okay so if you come back another day that one might be just for you also if it is your first time here and you have not subscribed to the channel Feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you will always know when I upload brand new contents, all right? And for all my returning seekers, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you for all your love and support. Please remember to thumbs up the videos because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push the videos out into a much wider audience and the channel and the video will grow, all right? Now, please also know that the cards has been shuffled and the card has also been blessed. However, before I get into all my readings, I always like to pray first. I always have to pray first. Asking the Lord to send out his most powerful angels to take charge, giving me the right words and the messages that they want me to share with you, my seekers, only for the ones that need to know. So let's get started. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send out your most powerful angels to take charge, giving me the right words to speak and the messages that you want me to share with the seekers, only the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, we give you all the honor and all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, Aries, so know that this is a general reading. It could be just about anything. It could be a loved one that's trying to come true. It could be a career change. It could be a love situation, past, present, or future. So have an open mind. And once again, if it doesn't resonate, don't get all uptight and in your feelings. Be positive. When positive flows in your veins, positivity will follow you for the rest of your eternity okay so let's stay positive here all right so angels let's get to work let's get to work let's get to work let's get to work let's have as many cards as you want me to um have for aries please and thank you okay the angels are saying here make yourself happy first okay make yourself happy first is what the angels are saying here the angels are saying here you haven't been feeding your better self lately all right and this has been bothering you, not just lately, but for a while. You have been feeling really down and your direction and your path that you need to take have been in question for some time, all right? The angels are saying here, you will have to build yourself within, all right? You have it within you to be a better self, but it's going to be on you. Do not depend on anyone to make you happy is what the angels are saying here, right? It is going to be okay. Put yourself first for once in your life because you're always worrying about what other people think about you and basically listen to other pe people's opinion. It is okay to take sometimes criticism, all right? But at the end of the day, you have to be the one that's going to stand your ground and know what's right or what's wrong for you. The angels are also saying here, okay? Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. The angels are saying here, time alone, all right? It is okay to just separate yourself from everything that is being a distract in your life. Distraction is all around you all the time, and it puts you off of your game so many times when good things are coming into your circle. You tend to push it away because of people and their negativity. Negative people always seems to find you for some reason. And it's time that you start separating yourself from all of that stuff that is not discerning of your spirit. Sp things that is draining your sanity, okay? And making you miserable is what it's doing to you, okay? The angels are also saying here, you listen to other people. You listen to other people. That is your problem. That is why you're not able to move forward with the things that is destined for you in your life. Because every time you make a plan, you listen to other people's opinion and you put that plan off and do what other people is saying. And the angels are saying you're going to have to nip it in the butt, nip, nip and tuck, okay? You're going to have to make a change as far as that is concerned. The angels are also saying here, your person is on a journey to a better self. Your person, okay? is not where you would like them to be right now in your life 
The angel is saying your person have to go and work on themselves. Stop trying to change them. Stop trying to make them better for you. Stop trying to give and give and give. It is time for you to let that go and let your person go find a place of salvation, okay? Your person have healing to do within and they're going to have to find their way. Yes, you could pray for your person because prayer will win every time. And where there's one and where there's three and where there's 10 prayer warriors, miracle will happen in your person's life and your life as well. But you have to have your person want to able to be able to help themselves. All right. It's what the angels are saying here. Okay. The angels are also saying here. I can tell you're miserable here, but you won't talk about it, all right? Your person is miserable, okay? Someone is really miserable in this relationship here because someone is on a journey of doing a better self. Someone has to go fix themselves. That's why the miserable came up in your reading. Someone is frustrated here, all right? The relationship is not going in the direction that you have anticipated it to go but the angel is saying someone in this equation needs to go fix themselves. It is not going to go anywhere if someone is miserable and they won't talk to you because the key to our uh, awesome relationship is communication. And if there's no communication in, in, the, in the relationship, it is going to go left and right. It's not going to go into the same direction as what the angels are saying here, okay? The angels are also saying here, you needed to heal old wounds and childhood issue needs revisiting to close the door, okay? There's something in your past and this can be going either way, all right? It could be in reverse, but childhood issue needs to be taken care of. Something from your past is blocking your present, okay? And it needs, you need to face it hands-on Deal with it, heal from it, and just let it go and move on. Okay? Is what the angels are saying here. The angels are also saying here, I need a commitment. Someone needs a commitment in this relationship here, but someone is not going to be getting one. Not right now. Because your person is on a journey to a better self. And when your person has gotten to where they need to be in their life, then you could think about a commitment. A commitment is not going to come your way right now, okay? That is what you seek, all right? But that is not what you're going to be getting right at this particular moment. It is not going to happen right now because in order to have the perfect relationship or almost a perfect relationship because there's always work to be done in any relationship Someone has to be able to give all of themselves and be ready for what is going to be happening in that particular relationship, in that space, in that future, in that destiny. Two people has to be on the same page. And right now, your person is on a journey, okay? Making themselves a better self because they know that they have to fix themselves. There's work to be done on their part. The angel's saying... If you love me, show me, okay? You want love. You want the commitment. Someone wants love and someone wants a commitment here. But again, you're not going to get that right now. It's not about you. Because if your person is going to give that right now to you, it's going to be fake. It's not going to be 100%. They're still going to be doing the things that's bringing argument and confusion and frustration into the a relationship, okay? Because there's been a lot of that between you two. Your person is just not ready. So stop forcing the impossible. If you want someone to be in your life just to say you are in a relationship, then go ahead and do that. But you are going to, miser to be miserable. Someone is going to be really miserable in this relationship if you don't allow your person to go out and find themselves and be a better self, okay? The angels are also saying here, okay, it's time to say I'm sorry. It's time to move on and just say I'm sorry. Someone needs to just say I'm sorry and just move on from all that stress. 
that's keeping you down mentally, all right? Don't be so proud and, and keep it within you just to say, I'm sorry. Just say, I'm sorry. It's like healing. When you say, I'm sorry, and you really mean it from the depths of your heart, it is going to manifest to the surface and it's going to heal the relationship. It's like, it's like putting um, medicine into your body to feel better, okay? That is what this I'm sorry is going to be doing for you. Say I'm sorry and move on from it. But it's going to help the relationship to bind and to be stronger, okay? The angels are also saying here, okay? They make you take photos with other people just to piss me off. So your person, and this could be in reverse, but I see other people that's also playing a part in this relationship here. It's trying to get the other person upset. Someone has been really upset because people are having their two cents and trying, most likely trying to break up the relationship. And someone has to be the one to say that that's it. I'm not going to disrespect that person. I, you know, they didn't know that they don't deserve to be treated like that. I'm not going to allow you to ruin my relationship. I'm trying to work on this relationship. I really do have feelings for this person. I'm trying to work it out. But someone in the circle, someone in this circle here is really trying to break up what can be a good thing here. Okay? So someone has to decide what they want. Either they want to try to work the relationship out of with you or they want to listen to what other people is saying right here because someone is trying to bring a third party in here, okay? They're trying their best, okay? Now, the angel just saying here, okay? For closure, spiritual lesson. The person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Listen well. Okay, this person that you are with, okay, this person that's coming up in your reading today, this person is on a journey, a journey of finding themselves into a better place, all right, your person. This person will send to you from the above, all right, and this person here, believe it or not, they are they came in your life to teach you something that you never knew before okay they you are going to have to find your spiritual side of you in order to make things happen with this person here it is going to take more than just getting back together and starting all over again you're going someone has to have a spiritual side to them all right to have things manifest in your life start praying for your person Stop being so proud. Say I love you more often, all right? Say I'm sorry more often and mean what you say and say what you mean. And with that said, know that I love you so much. Always remember to pray. Prayer works every single time, all right? Call on God and it will be given to you. And with that said, always remember to seek and you will always find.